Hi everyone. Before starting today's video, I would like to thank everyone for helping this channel reach 25k subscribers. Thank you so much. It's your love and your support that keeps me going. And for reaching this milestone, I want to make a special Q&A event just for you. And for that, I would need your questions, of course. So it would be great if you leave some questions in the comment section so that I can make the video very soon. Once again, thank you so much everyone. Now let's get into the video. You already know the title? Yep, it's about liquify pen. So we have a very weird looking face here. It is very disproportionate, but there's no need to worry. We don't have to delete it. We just need to fix it using these liquify pens. So before fixing, we need to know what are the problems exactly. Notice carefully that the eyes are not properly aligned. The distance between the hairline is extremely big compared to the face. Also the distance between the nose and the left ear is a lot. The lips and the nose doesn't look like they are at the right position as well. Also both the eyes look bigger compared to the face. It wouldn't be much of a problem if it was a semi-realistic or anime or cartoony drawing. But we are talking about realistic stuff here. So that's why the eyes are definitely bigger than the face and that needs to be fixed. I'm going to copy this image and start fixing it so that we can compare both the images later on. Now I'm going to use the drag pen to fix the positioning of the eyes. The left eye should be a bit above. That's why I'm gently pushing it upwards. The size of the pen is important. If you are trying to move a big chunk, then you should definitely increase the size. I would suggest you to keep the size bigger for most of the time to be honest. Until and unless the part you are moving is really small. I will be honest with you that drag pen is my most favorite type of liquify pen. Because for me, it's the most useful one. One can just use the drag pen instead of using shrink or expand pens to fix anatomy. And it's even more efficient. Moreover, the shrink pen or expand pen can make your art look weird if you try to fix it and I'll show you why. I'm not saying that those pens are not useful because there are certain things you can do with them especially when modifying the thickness of the line art to make things look cooler. I actually do have a tutorial on it so if you are interested you can check out the card above. Even if the eyes are aligned now, I still think both the eyes should be positioned a bit higher and should be a bit smaller. So now I'm going to push both of them upwards and try to make them look smaller. Another thing I want to tell you that I really have no idea what the smooth pen does to be honest. I have tried whatever I could but I couldn't understand its functioning. So if you do understand what's going on with that pen, please let me know. I'd be really grateful. Finally, we are done fixing the eyes. So it's time to move on to the next thing that is Fixing the distance between the hairline. This time I'm going to show you the problems of using shrink pen. Notice that the line art isn't moving the way you want it to. It's just coming inwards from one side and the other side is 
still intact. So basically the line art is getting destroyed this way. That's why I'm just going to use drag pen for now. Remember to change the size of the pen accordingly. So we are halfway done fixing it. It's time to fix the distance between the ear and the nose. Now I will be using expand pen to the lips to thicken it up and match the size compared to the face. Fortunately the expand pen worked well here but it doesn't all the time. The left eye looks a bit too distant from the right eye, so I'm just going to move it towards the right side. Here's a quick tip. If you can see that applying drag pen doesn't really look good, so don't do that. Instead of it, we can just select the entire eye using the selection tool and move it anywhere we want. It is going to be neat and fast without making a mess of the line art. 
but remember that it only works if we are moving an entire part it doesn't really work that well if we are trying to move just a little bit portion of a big part The fixing is complete now and to show the changes that have been made, I'm going to quickly change the color of both the line arts and show them to you. I'm pretty sure you can understand what happened there and hopefully this will help you fixing your art, especially anatomical problems. Before ending the video, once again, I would like to thank you all and I'm going to look forward to your questions in the comment section. So please do leave your questions there. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.